Hi, I'm Nathan Lomas. Today we're going to be discussing sending an image from Adobe Lightroom Classic to Photoshop using the optimal settings. Sometimes you may have an image that needs further work beyond what Lightroom can do, whether that's in-depth retouching, specific masking, or other things that need to be done in Photoshop. Now, the problem is we need to make sure that the image is set up to move to Photoshop in the best way possible, preserving as much data as we can. So to do that, we're going to look at some preferences in Lightroom. Uh, let's assume that this is the image I'd like to send to Lightroom. I've already done my developments to the best of my ability in you know, the basic panel, recover tonality, do everything that you can in Lightroom first. Then we're going to come up to where it says Lightroom at the top here, choose Preferences, and we want to look at the external editing tab. This is the place where we're going to determine some settings for how our images get shipped over to Photoshop to work on them. Uh, the first box here, Edit in Photoshop, will show the most recent version of Photoshop that you have installed, and it gives you some choices about file format, color space, bit depth, and other options for how we want to ship the image over. So the two options that you get for file format are TIFF or PSD. Honestly, either one of these is going to be perfectly fine. The only real difference, I would say, is that TIFF is a little bit more of a universal file type, which can be opened by other programs. And PSD, which stands for Photoshop Document, is meant to be specifically opened with Photoshop. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use TIFF just because it simply is a little bit more universal and potentially could be opened by other programs. For color space, the options you get here are ProPhoto, Adobe RGB 1998, your display profile, and sRGB. The optimal thing to choose here for anything that could possibly be printed that you want to retain the most information for is ProPhoto RGB. Then for bit depth, more is going to be better here. It's going to preserve more color data, so 16 bits is what we'd like. And then for resolution, a good baseline for resolution in printing is going to be 300 pixels per inch. So I'll leave this dialed in at 300. Uh, we're not going to want to compress our file, so we will leave compression set to none. And these are going to be the optimal settings for shipping our image over. Now, if we go ahead in Lightroom and choose the option Photo, Edit In, and then Edit in Photoshop, What's going to happen is Lightroom is going to take a look at the adjustments you've made. It's going to essentially bake those into a file that it then launches in Photoshop, where you can then start to do your retouching work or your more specific masking, editing, what have you, and save that edited version back to Lightroom. 